It is time for Korea On Demand K Arts, and of course, uh, logging on to our live on Zoom for the latest in the art world is Sonia. Sonia, hello to you. Happy Children's Day. Happy Children's Day to you too. Do you remember uh, celebrating Children's Day when you were younger? Um, not really. I mean, maybe when I was in like elementary school, it was a school thing, but. Ever since then, not really. Yeah, I wonder, like, when 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 does Children's Day start for people? Is it when once you graduate from elementary school, you you're no longer a child or something like that? I mean, definitely, if you are in I don't know junior high or high school, like you're not a children anymore. Yeah, I guess maybe I th- I think like what it was is once you are a teenager, you're no longer a children, mm-hmm. so you're not supposed to uh, get any gifts and things like that. But uh, nevertheless, uh, Sonia, I know that in lieu of the uh, special Children's Day today, you're going to be talking about a very special artist, a uh, 13-year-old artist by the name of Kim Hamin. Uh, how old? I mean, so 13 years old doesn't mean that he started when he was 13. He must have started when he was a lot younger. So when? how, how old was he when he first started drawing or painting? So he has been drawing since ever since he was five years old. Um, but then actually, if you think about it, like all children draw at that age. Um, but he was first introduced to the world when he was about seven years old in a TV show called Finding Genius in SBS Youngje mm-hmm. Um And his bold drawings, his pure interest and passion in art. And also in the show, he actually visited um, Italy and went to visit this um, artist called Mimo Palladino, his studio, and they did a little collab, um, spontaneous. And, you know, a lot of viewers uh, were really impressed by how um, talented he is. You know, I actually saw clips of, because uh, the, the, what is it, the Youngje Palguldan yeah, has a yeah. lot of interesting episodes because, like, I actually watched clips of it. I don't watch like a full episode. I remember him because I remember oh. looking at his art and going, because, you know, I like abstract art, right? I like art that yeah. is a little bit weird and stuff like that. And I thought <laughs> yeah. his art was very abstract. And so I'm looking at, because I'm looking at uh, what what the episode was about. And I, I do remember this. Uh, his episode was like in back in 2017. So uh, yeah. quite a long time ago. Now he's 13 years old. But I want to know, right? Like I look at, my my son, he's only four years old, Western age, five years old, uh, Korean age, and he's been drawing a lot, mostly sharks and dinosaurs. And he's not a genius artist. You know, he's not a great artist, but there's a lot of imagination to it. And, you know, considering that, it's pretty cool. But what's the yeah. difference between a well-painting child and a young artist? Like, like, And also, do they have to hold uh, an exhibition in order for them to be considered a real artist? Or is it like having to do with how much painting they sell? Like, what's the criteria in order for you to be considered an artist? Well, that's a really um, interesting question. And I think the identity of an artist is something that you give yourself. So, like, for example, a child who likes to draw in art class and is really good at art is a child who draws well. But then if a child calls him or herself as an artist and lives an artist's life, they're artists, right? And Kim I mean, he is living the life of an artist. I mean, like all of his activities, his inspirations are expressed through his artworks. And, you know, back in 2017, at the very young age of seven, he made his debut as an artist by the curator and gallerist who, who saw his work and his his passion and his genuine uh, sincerity and the and the activities that he was doing, which is, you know, like undoubtedly um, that was an artist. And so, you know, like the following year, 2018, Maya Tim also invited him to um, our Jeju Art Fair for a special exhibition. Oh, he, wow. He, a lot of attention and... We originally didn't plan to sell his paintings, um, you know, for him being too young. But then a lot of uh, people who visited, it was like they wanted to buy the artworks. And so we sold them and all the profits we made uh, were actually donated. And that's what he does um, after like every show he sells paintings, he would donate 
um, all the profits. Whoa, 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 Sonia, now, uh, you, know, you know what I'm going to ask you now? How come you didn't tell me about this? Because can, can I ask how much these paintings were going for around? Um, yeah, so I would say like the smallest. So we use this, um, we use this thing called ho, which is like a size of a painting. Right, 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 right. Smallest one would be il ho, one ho. Uh -huh. I don't know how to do it. Right, the smallest is one ho, yeah. Yeah, so the smallest one, one ho, is uh, 70,000 won. So that's so cheap, that's cheap, okay. And his paintings can go up to like 10 ho, 30, 50. Oh, my um, goodness. So the larger, the more expensive, naturally. Right. But his price is actually very affordable because, you know, he's still a very young artist. So I would say a very Is price. there anything that's available now for me? I feel like I, I always <laughs> get... There are some actual paintings available right now. I get, I get, I get, oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Um... This has never happened before. Kim Amin, I think he is. Kim Amin's tuning in right now, live on YouTube. Uh, Kim Amin says, hello, I am Hamin Kim. And I think we actually have the real artist uh, joining us live on YouTube right now. Hamin, I want to buy your painting. <laughs> if, you're, if you're listening right now, please message me. Find me on Instagram, the real SJ86. DM me. I want to find... Uh, I want to buy your art. Is uh, I, again, this is if you are the. Re I'm looking at the uh, the icon right now. It seems like it's our. I mean, again, my Instagram ID is the real sj86. DM me. I'm trying to buy your art here. I want to know. I almost feel like we should have him on the show right now. But jo uh, Sonia, how do you learn painting? I mean, do we know if he was inspired by any artist? Because looking at his art, it is again an abstract art. I love his style. Uh, do we know information? any of inf uh, his information? Well, so he didn't really study art professionally, you know? So naturally his visual language and his choice of materials are very unique and original. Um, he uses a var variety of materials such as acrylics, oil, pastel, and his expression techniques are nothing typical. Um, and so when he was a bit younger, at the age of around five, he was inspired by the works of Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo. And after that, he inspired by the books that he reads. Um, he reads a variety of books. He's buried in books. I heard that um, he only sleeps like five hours a day, which is really crazy. Um, so lately he has been reading anatomy books, theologies, uh, philosophy, but, and biographies of historic figures. Um, he also loves the Beatles, Charlie Chaplin, so his paintings are based on um, these artists. And exhibitions are also like, it's his playground, definitely. He would visit an exhibition when the gallery opens and stays until the gallery closes. He also visits art fairs to see the artwork of other contemporary artists. He takes photos of them, come home, study and paint. And, uh, you know, with, I think, old children, I think the influence of parents, especially moms, is also very, very um, important. And, you know, his entire room is covered in his paintings, graffiti drawings. I mean, usually when a child paints, like, I think, the mom wouldn't want the child to like draw other than the um, uh, the sketchbook that right. is because you know the, the house gets dirty. Mm -hmm. But his mom uh, just let to me uh, draws wherever he wants. So you know it's literally everywhere, not just the floor, but also the walls, the windows, and even the ceiling. They're all covered in uh, with his paintings and drawings. And she recently gave the. Uh, the master bedroom to to Hamin. So, you know, because she thinks that um, she wants to give him the biggest room to, you know, let him create freely. And and I think that's why, like, it's really not easy for any artist, like grown-up artists, like adult artists, professional artists, to paint on a large scale canvas. But for him, the canvas is rather small because he, you know, paints on the wall, which is like a lot larger than a regular canvas. To be fair, my five-year-old son also took the master bedroom, um, but that's because uh. that's because he wants to sleep with mommy and 
and I get <laughs> I get I get his room now, but he doesn't get to paint. Uh, Kim Ah Min, Ha Min uh, responded saying, "I'm in France now." So I mean, he's obviously traveling all around the world uh, to showcase his art. But Ha Min again, message me on Instagram, trying to buy your art here, uh, as long as it's uh, affordable and it's within my range. Uh, but let's talk about. Some of the major uh, careers of uh, you know Kim Ah Min and what he was able to accomplish. Right, so he's currently in Paris uh, for an exhibition there. Um, he's actually visiting Jeju next week. Um, so he has participated in, in a lot of solo show and group exhibitions. Um, he's originally from Busan, so in Busan and also Seoul, participated in our Jeju twice. So naturally, uh, he was introduced in Jeju as well. Um, he has, a, has an agent called Speaker. It's um, like an influencer agency founded jolie by the team of SM Entertainment and Esteem the model agency. Um, he also collaborated with Samsung Bespoke Refrigerator and also published two children's books. Um, so he's been very actively um, working, showcasing his works, performing as an artist. Um, I still haven't got a DM from Hamin. I'm still waiting for your <laughs> message right now. But uh, for our listeners out there, I know uh, now is around the time. I know it's kind of rained a lot uh, over the past few days. But uh, his exhibition right now being held in Jeju. Um, I want to know because I am planning to come to Jeju uh, for a vacation uh, later this month. Uh, I wonder mm-hmm. if it's going to be open by then. But uh, how much is the ticket? Where is it held and when does it end? So the art... Uh, the exhibition right now runs until 14th of May um, in our Jeju space. It's the gallery that we run. It's located in Lotte Hotel Jeju, the lobby floor, um, you know, admissions free. And you can actually view the artworks in the exhibition uh, right now through our Instagram account profile link, our Jeju space. Um, you know, you can check the price and we actually also put his own description that he wrote about each painting. So definitely I recommend you to um, Uh, check it out. How much is it going to take for you to extend this exhibition for another few days? Because, uh, (laughs) (laughs) it's going to end before I, it's going to end before I get there. But no, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating the fact that I really like his art because I made it clear before that I really like abstract art and, uh, we're going to showcase one of the art pieces that is in the exhibition right now and give you an example of his artwork. And this is, again, I, do explain to us this artwork because this is the kind of art that I really like. Okay, so um, is it the idols? Uh, yeah, you got, the- you, got, you got a bunch of skeletons. Uh, you got one skeleton in front. Okay, so the, it's called this work is called Adams. It's um, Anatomy Plus Beetles, which depicts the beetles with anatomical image. Wow. And a lot of visitors have um, so far um, told us that this painting reminds them somehow of Basquiat, Jean-Michel Basquiat. And, you know, actually, I thought that was really interesting because when Basquiat was, he was actually hospitalized when he was like five after a car accident. Uh, and he was staying in the hospital bed and his, actually, his mom gave him the anatomy book called The Grey's Anatomy. And mm. it to be the source of Basquiat's unique painting style and like, you know, the skull-like images and the skeleton and whatnot. And um, Hamid also has been, you know, recently very into reading anatomy books. And I think um, he's inspired by the images of from the books. And so this painting um, particularly is his own painting of the Beatles, uh, the artist band that he likes with the anatomical image. Man, there's, there's I, I could see some of the writing. There's a, uh, on the right side, there's a heart and then it says before. <laughs> And then it yeah. says after, which is like all messed up heart. I'm trying to figure out uh, who whose heart is messed up uh, mm. from all this. But this is, I, I love art like this. Again, I mean, this is incredible. It, it seems like, it's like a mix of graffiti. It has like a graffiti aspect to it as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I've, I've made it clear on the show before, I love graffiti art. And uh, oh, the details of the, is this... Is this made out of crepe pasta? One of those things that we get on Children's Day, uh, pastel? 
Oh, pastel, acrylic yeah. and pastel on canvas. Wow, I, I love this. And <laughs> hair, it says body. <laughs> so it, it still has like the innocence of a child. It has the innocence. That's yeah, what I yeah. like. It's it's great, yeah. but it still has the innocence of a child. Uh, do we have another painting that we can share for all of our listeners out there? Uh, so the next painting, I prepared two paintings. The next one is called The Inner Me. And this one is very profound, um, personally, I think. And so this painting expresses, these are his words, by the way, expresses the abstract, psychological, and metaphysical perspectives of human beings and their true realism in paintings. It is his first attempt to express the human figure, the person inside of the human being, and the inexpressible ways of being. I it's just the colors is is this also on uh through through uh pastel too? Like what is it seems like pastel. Uh, acrylic and oil pastel. Oh wow. I mean this is uh, the oh uh Yangurum who is a renowned uh, designer and artist himself, one of our listeners says, uh, it reminds me of uh, ba Basquiat. Is that how you pronounce it? Basquiat? Basquiat. Basquiat. Uh, so he says it. I mean, that, I, 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 this is the first time I'm hearing about this artist, but apparently this is the kind of style uh, that I like. Uh, and you have inside, I'm trying to see what, what that is. Oh my goodness. The details of this is just re remarkable. How detail? Oh, he's, he's, yeah, I could tell that he's really into anatomy because like, yeah. <laughs> I could really tell he's into anatomy here, uh, just judging <laughs> even by this uh, particular art piece here. Um, have you, you were able to meet him in person, right? Obviously, in that uh, he was able to have this exhibition in Jeju. Yeah. Um, I think the first time we met, uh, we met was back in 2019. My first impression of him is he's such a fashionista. He dresses so well um according to his mom he's very particular about what he wears and only goes out if he likes it incredible style um and he seems shy at first but you know when he's been time with him he's really interested in you know the world and what's happening around him he loves to talk about it um i mean again like it was such a special moment uh, I mean, if you are listening right now, if you're a fashionist, uh, I will trade you one of my clothes, uh, one of my high-end clothes for one of your art pieces. I'm still, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm bartering with the 13-year-old. I, I feel a little bit goofy on this one, but uh, I, I love this art piece. We have another art piece that we're going to sh uh, share here, and this one looks a little bit scary, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I feel like it's like a, a person that turns is metamorphing into like a dog or a horse or something like that or a or a wolf i don't know what it is but uh it's it, it looks like a wolf it looks like a animal but it has like a person in it too uh do you know what, what art piece am i looking at here sonia um is it with the green green background? blue blue background blue background oh. Uh, blue background. It's um, it's this painting of a horse. Oh, there you go. I yeah. knew it was an animal. <laughs> it looks like an horse. Um, so this one he painted uh, when he was nine years old. Um, and he saw a painting of a horse by another artist, which really got his attention. And you know, he thought of. Uh, him flying and being free, just like the horse. And he wanted to kind of portray himself with the image of the horse. So, I mean, personally, um, when I look at these paintings, the expression of the eyes are, it's very, very strong. And I think it's the, like the energy and the perspective that he has, you know, that is um, expressed through the painting. I want to, this, I mean, this, again, I mean, it's an interesting piece here, and uh, I'm trying to figure out also, there's like a like a red square in the bottom. I, I wonder what that particular square is, but... I broke his own... Um, oh! It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a stamp! It's like... <laughs> <laughs> that's cute that's really cute i was wondering what that was i was like what is that and yeah. then uh, our producer i yeah. uh, zoomed in it's like when you buy those stamps right and uh it yeah. says uh, humming and then uh when <laughs> yeah. just... i was like what is that 
<laughs> oh, that is that is very very creative. It says Hamin 2018 is what it says here. Uh, very quickly, you know, I love. I, I told you before that uh, you know I'm I'm also a, a a scout, a baseball scout. I like looking for a young talent and see how they uh, grow up. I he's only 13 years old. I mean, let's face it. And then the the piece that he did, uh, the Atolls, uh, was incredible. Uh, Anatomy plus uh, Beatles. I mean, surely uh, he's going to be even bigger moving forward here. Uh, what do you think his? Uh, how do you think his uh, future as an artist is going to pan out? I mean, it's really hard to predict someone's future. You know, I don't even know my future. <laughs> but, you know, there's a one very important quote uh, by Picasso. Uh, he once said, every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once he grows up. And, you know, Hamin, um, he's definitely a genius, like literally genius now. I mean, he has graduated um, elementary school and he's preparing to um, go to university, the uh, uh, skipping, you know, junior high and high school. What? And he he says he wants to be a life-saving artist. He wants to help people in need with his talent. And, you know, I'm seeing his works over the last few years. Um, his artworks are so unpredictable that you never know where it's gonna go. But um, I'm, you know, I'm really excited to see, I can't wait to see like how he grows up as an artist, how he matures as an artist and, you know, the paintings that he's going to show us and to the world. Again, I mean, it is very rare to see uh, mm. Just an incredibly young artist, uh, but uh, an incredibly talented young artist. And uh, I mean, if you're still listening and you really want to help people out, you can help me by selling me one of your art pieces for uh, uh, an affordable price this year. But yeah, you know, this is, I, I love this art and I thought it was quite fitting of it. And it's even more impressive that he's aiming to be a university student at the age of 13 years old uh truly a, a genius at work here sonia as always thank you very much for introducing to us a uh, an incredible artist here i hope you have a fantastic weekend and looking forward to talking to you next month thank you see you next time you can listen to korea now with me sj lee by downloading the arirang radio application or tune in online by visiting www.arirangradio.com. So make sure you tune in Mondays through Fridays, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Korea time.